I woke up this way. Same. Well, uh, guys, we are engaged. Officially yes. engaged as get, of get a show, last night. Show the, fi show the fingers, yeah. Good rings. Obviously, Good rings. Parsifal picked this. <laughs> we helped pick out the ring, but it was still a surprise, so it was good. Yeah, at first we just went to um, a jewelry store to get sized because we have really tiny hands. And then we ended up buying the rings then, and that was in what, December? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we've been patiently waiting, and it got surprised on us last night. Yeah, during a night of partying, um, we were in downtown McMinnville, and then there's this restaurant slash hotel thing that's like five floors tall. And the view from the top of that thing is freaking awesome, so we wanted to go up and like check it out for no apparent reason. <laughs> And we heard that the bar was closed, so we ended up looking out of one of those really tall windows down at the street because there's, like, string lights in all the trees year-round, and it looks freaking awesome. And then Vera was the one that was out. <laughs> Vera and Steen. Yeah, Vera and Steen were out, you know, a couple, because it would have been weird if it was someone like, I don't know, Kai and whoever else was out, <laughs> because they don't know each other, and we already had the rings in our pocket, so it was kind of like, let's just hope a couple is out. <laughs> But yeah, and I find it hilarious that Vera was the one to propose. Yeah. Because if you, you guys don't know the story, but when Vera and Steen first started hanging out and stuff, and Steen was like, oh, I love you, Vera kind of was just like, no. So, ew, <laughs> why would you tell me that? <laughs> no, <laughs> this and, isn't what I want. And they went on like a two month hiatus from seeing each other. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that. Holy yeah. Jesus. Yeah, they went on like a two month hiatus, so it was kind of hilarious to most of us that Vera was the <laughs> one to propose. It was super cute, though. Yeah. And it was just like, uh, do you want to do this marriage thing with me? <laughs> <laughs> I was quoting. Uh, Adventure Time. It was yeah. like looking out of the window and was like, you know. This kind of reminds me of the scene in Adventure Time, you know, when there's like two foxes and then one fox asks the other one and then it got down on its knees and was like, <laughs> do you want to do this marriage thing with me? <laughs> it was super cute. And then they went to do karaoke and got Jeez. really drunk. <laughs> <laughs> so all in all, good night and neither of us have hangovers, so yeah. I'm pretty happy about that. Mm -hmm. Mickey woke up and kind of like startledly looked at our hand and was like, there's a ring on my finger. <laughs> and uh, so they didn't know that it was happening, but was very happily surprised this morning. It's like getting engaged 90 something times. <laughs> yeah. I feel like a lot of this engagement is just going to be different alters looking down and being like, oh my God, we're wearing a ring. What? <laughs> But then you have positive, like, opinions, like, this is basically a built-in brass knuckle. Whoever gets into a fight with us is gonna be sorry. Oh my gosh. And there's us that's just, like, <laughs> happy to be here, and then looks down and is even happier now, because we're like, oh my god! So it's great. It's great. Yeah, all in all, pretty good experience. Mm-hmm. I, I want to say it's, like, similar to a regular engagement, but that's, like, I don't know. I don't know how being engaged is different than dating, except for the word fiancé holds more leverage. <laughs> like, if people are like, oh, my boyfriend doesn't want to go to that place, versus my fiancé doesn't want to <laughs> go to that place, that's like, boom. That holds you more can't power. argue with that. We got the power now. And fiancé is also a gender-neutral term, mm -hmm. because you can't tell the difference in spelling when you just say it. So that's much appreciated. Very much so. Especially now, Mickey's going by they, them pronouns, mm -hmm. so... So that was some of the motivation to propose sooner. <laughs> <laughs> Not even kidding. It's pretty great. But yeah, so this is like the healthiest relationship we've ever been in. Yeah, same. Oh god, did Stacy <laughs> set that bar low? <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh god, when you're used to toxic relationships, having a healthy relationship is just weird. Yeah, sometimes when we actually communicate with each other, we're kind of like, well, that actually worked, and we didn't get into a fight. I don't think we've gotten into a fight. No, we, we've had one disagreement, but it was a misunderstanding, and it was resolved yeah. in two days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's good. We just don't yell at each other. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much like that. Usually when something happens, like, we'll, either one of us will get flustered and then in a day or two we'll chill out and we'll be like, hey, you remember this happened a couple of days ago? This bugged me. Can we talk? And we're just like, yeah. And we sit down and we talk about it and then everything smooths over. Yeah. And having, like, a lot of knowledge on psychology <laughs> helps a lot <laughs> because, like, we figured out, like... <laughs> <laughs> the roots behind uh, one of their tendencies of, like, explaining things in detail and, like, bringing up scientific facts. We were just like, you grew up with older brothers, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> they didn't really believe you on a lot of things, right? And they were like, yeah. We were like... We had to defend <laughs> our, our opinion a lot. The one that sticks out was our brother said something that was just blatantly wrong. And we were like, No. <laughs> And we had to bring our dad in, and our dad was like, where did you even get that information to our brother? And we're just like, yes. <laughs> it was little little wins, and so it kind of just stuck with us. It's not something that you always grow out of, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But we try. <laughs> yeah. The older sibling, younger sibling thing really sticks with you for life, because, like, you know, we're the older siblings, so we never had that. So it took some, like, deep thought to figure out that's where that's from. It's weird like having to see things from the other side you know especially since we're the same age we're like two and a half yeah. months apart so it's like older child younger child same age <laughs> same age super weird so we're coming from two different sides with the same side at the same yeah. time so yeah but... i don't know how i feel about my hair right now i'm just gonna leave it <laughs> whatever <laughs> But yeah, so, I mean, coming out of an abusive relationship, it's really nice to have something where we're just close, you know? But yeah, it's like a breath of fresh air and everything, and it, like, has positively impacted, yeah, like, almost all of the alters that have been involved, mm -hmm. apart from, like, two. <laughs> <laughs> when Ivan never got back to Alexander. Oh, man, that was... Oof. There was a reason Alexander was, like, upset. I think he made a video where he was just kind of, like, bland and stuff. And, uh, there was a reason, and it was Ivan, or not Ivan, uh, it was one of our friends reminded us of Stacy, And, uh, it kind of dove him off the deep end, which kind of shows, like, the PTSD side of things, how things can stick with you, so mm -hmm. it's real interesting. Yeah, toxic relationships can haunt you, and will haunt you, yeah. and it does take a while to recover from that, admittedly, as frustrating as that is. <laughs> we're still recovering, and we're just figuring it out as we go, so, mm -hmm. helping each other. It's yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, and um, that mutual helping has been pretty beneficial for, yeah, like, all the alters involved, like, Keeper and Parsifal. Yeah. Like... Parsifal used to be a freaking terror, and, like, it was not a good time. And Keeper used to be a meek, very, very unemotional person, and now they're kind of, like, coming out of their shell and learning to feel again in different ways, so it's a good combo. I just keep remembering that one time. Oh when, my god. Um, <laughs> When Keeper actually got, like, territorial over Parsifal, because, who was out? Cole? I think so. Cole was out in their system, and he had really, like, cold hands, and Parsifal's hands were just really warm. And he was like, turn the heat in the car down, dude. And Cole was like, no, I'm cold. And he was like, feel my hand, it's burning up. <laughs> then Cole was like, oh, it's warm. Yeah, and he was just, like, like, warming his hand on there. And Keeper inside was just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> And, um, that was, like, the first time they showed territorialness over Parsifal, so. And he was, like, really amused by that. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, we both have alters that are good at, like, working through 
like psychological things and if memories resurface they're pretty good at that like you've got keeper and we've got takari mm -hmm. and they're both good at picking brains so yes. we pick each other's brains <laughs> it's like it's like monkeys you know they pick each other's backs <laughs> we pick each other's brains <laughs> <laughs> we pick each other's brains because we're zombies that way yes we crave the brains but yeah, so other than that, I mean, like other alters, like Dante. Oh yeah. Yeah, Dante has been positively impacted. Definitely, and I think he's helped Axel a little bit too. Mhm. Mm because Axel's got some PTSD, and Dante is like schizoaffective. We think we're looking for like help from our therapist on alters with differing diagnoses. So stay tuned for more info on that, maybe in like a couple months. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, they help each other a lot. And, like, I think Axel was forced into parenthood at some point in time and is still coming out of that, so Dante's mm -hmm. helping with that a lot. Definitely. And also, Daniel and Liberty. Yeah. 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 Daniel used to be much like Parsifal, but in the dick measuring contest way. <laughs> and... Liberty's kind of just turned into, into a meme at this point. A very mean meme. <laughs> aggressive meme. Yes. Turns him into an aggressive meme, and that's good. That's <laughs> high quality. And together, we just kind of worked on communication and yeah. learning how to talk to one another. Because for a while after we left Stacy, it was really hard to be like, hey, this is bugging me. And so we'd hold on to things for weeks at a time, and then when we finally brought it up, they were like, why didn't you say that sooner? <laughs> like, this isn't even a big deal, dude. <laughs> <And> what? <laughs> we were like, we're, we're allowed to talk about things now? <laughs> what? No way. <laughs> and so we kind of yeah. just helped each other out on that, that end, and it's been really healthy. Yeah. And it will continue to be so. Indefinitely. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because we woke up this way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. I think that's all we have for today. If you guys have any questions about being a system in a relationship, mm -hmm. uh, let us know. Because it is different than dating a singlet, I think. Oh, my God. We should do a video on dating singlets. Because we have very different history with singlets. We never came out as multiple to them. And you guys did. And we did. have a few times. So. so yeah, stay tuned for that, and also um, check out our previous video about DID and dating. We really need to learn to do those banners. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. For if you guys real. have tips, put them down in the comments. Please. I mean, I know how to do them, <laughs> but like, I don't really do a lot of stuff on the laptop for video editing. It's all on this tablet, but... Yeah. Gotta get you into that So topic. far, so good. <laughs> also, we will leave our Patreon, Discord social media and everything down in the comments or description below and yeah so thank you all for being goblins and sticking with us if you're not a goblin what are you doing with your life hashtag goblin <laughs> join us yes. all you have to do to become a goblin is, is hit that subscribe button all right we will see you guys later thanks for watching peace e and if y'all want to send us stuff, uh, mail, letters, whatever. Gifts. Anything. <laughs> uh, you can check out our Patreon. The link will be in the description, too. You don't have to donate or anything. Um, our address is just on there, so. Yeah, we just posted it, so please go ahead and take a look. And if you feel like sending anything, send yeah, us something. Yeah, check it out. All right, thank you, guys.